Hello! I am Zarkoon, and this is World of Warships Legends. Today I want to talk to you about the new Stellar Clash game mode that was added to the game on March 22nd, 2021. Limited time event goes from the 22nd of March to the 12th of April, which is about 20 days or a little bit over two weeks. That's how long the game mode is going to last, and that's how long you have to grind it for the rewards. And we'll talk about the rewards, specifically the Yukikaze, which I did a review on yesterday. That's sort of the main reward. We'll talk about how you can actually obtain it after we talk about what this game mode is all about. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's the April Fools event, I guess you could say, that replaces the last April Fools event, Duck of War, where you took control of a plastic ship in like a bathtub, shot at other ships, got duck points, etc. You could redeem those for rewards as well. I don't remember exactly what they were because that was like a year ago. But this is the same kind of thing, only it's in space. You get a choice of three ship types, a battleship, a cruiser, and a destroyer. You can see I'm obviously using the battleship here. And I think, for example, the ship model for this battleship is the Grosse Occur first. You can get this same skin out of one of the stellar crates from the store for the Grosse Occur first. And there's some other skins too, like one for the Shimakaze, which is the destroyer. Not sure exactly what the cruiser is supposed to be. But you could get skins for the Grosse Occur first and the Shimakaze out of the crates. Potentially low drop rate or pretty low drop rate. I think 1% chance to get any of those high value skins. But, you know, I think I've opened 15 crates and I got the skins for the Grosse Occur first and Shimakaze. So I've got them both. Anyway, you take these ships out into battle. There are nine player ships in the game. Each ship is basically its own team, and you go out there and you do damage to or sink the enemy players, as well as the bots, which are called invaders. There's some of those in every game. Shoot at those, take those down. And then these white icons scattered across the map are buffs. You pick them up and they do good things to your ship. There are two that increase reload time, one for gun reload time and one for consumable reload time. There's one that increases ship maneuverability, and then the final one gives you a will to rebuild like heal that lasts from when you pick up the consumable to the end of the match. So if you can get two of those on a battleship, you become pretty dang difficult to kill. And essentially, that's the game mode. Pretty straightforward, kind of fun to play around with at first, but I can imagine the novelty will wear off for me quite quickly, and I suspect the same is true of many players, although your mileage may vary. In any case, let's talk about probably what you all really want to know. So I did a bit of research into this about, you know, how you obtain the rewards that you can obtain in the Stellar tab of the store right now. The top reward, of course, is the Yukikaze, which costs 12,500 Stellar chips. There are also some permanent camo skins available for La Galassonaire, New Orleans, Pensacola, and Algerie. They cost 750 of those coins. And you've got things that you get in pretty much every event, like promotion orders, insignias, commander XP. There are some disposable sci-fi camos, which I think look pretty nice. They're essentially completely gray with some black lines and sci-fi type shapes running around. I kind of like the look of them. And then there are the three event commanders, which you can purchase for 5,000 stellar chips each in the store. I think they also come out of the crates too, so you can buy the crates for doubloons and roll the dice with RNG if you want to get those commanders without grinding out the stellar chips, but of course it's all up to RNG. Now, these stellar chips, Yukikaze, 12,500, that is a lot of stellar chips. So specifically, how do you get them? 
Well, you can get them by playing this Stellar Clash game mode. And there are essentially two medals that you can get in the game that will net you some Stellar Chips. One is for sinking or killing the first ship. It's essentially the Stellar Clash mode equivalent of the first Blood Medal. If you are the recipient of that achievement, then you get 20 Stellar Chips for the first kill. Additionally, you can get 60 Stellar Chips for winning a match in each of the three ship classes. So the Battleship, Destroyer, and Cruiser. And I think those are one victory per day in each class. You get 60 points. So for just playing the game mode, getting that first kill, and then getting a victory in all three ship classes, you can get 200 coins per day. And if you can do this every single day for the entire duration of the event, you'll end up with 4,200 at the conclusion of the event. But you can also get chips from the Stellar Clash missions in the missions tab. These missions have to be completed in the Stellar Clash game mode, and they mostly involve doing damage to enemy player ships or sinking the enemy bots. They reset every three days, so you've got three days to do them, and if you complete them all, including all of the resets, you will end up with 6,300 chips. So, 6,300 chips for those missions, plus 4,200 chips for the first blood, first kill, and victories in each of the three ships, equals 10,500 stellar chips when all is said and done. But that will leave you 2,000 chips short of getting the Yukikaze. So, how do you get the rest of those? Well, there are packages in the store for 4,000 doubloons. Each package has a photograph of one of the commanders, and I initially said a video or two ago that these packages actually give you the commanders. They don't. They just give you a set of missions. So if you were to buy the package with the fish face guy on it, then you would get missions that can be completed in destroyers. And these missions can be completed in the standard game mode. So one package, say the destroyer package, costs 4,000 doubloons. You complete all the missions in standard battle, and at the completion of these missions, you will get 4,500 chips per package. So, in theory, you could grind out 10,500 chips for free, and then you'd have to buy at least one of the packages to make up the rest. Or, you might have noticed there are three packages, 4,000 doubloons each. Each package gets you 4,500 doubloons. If you buy all three and complete them, then you will have enough to buy the Yukikaze and have a little bit left over to use on the other rewards. So, essentially, what you're incentivized to do just by the economy of the chip earning industry in this game mode, you're obviously incentivized to buy these packages and then grind the missions. And that's a little iffy. Essentially, if you do that, you are paying a little bit less, I think, than the full price of a Tier 6 premium ship. I think they cost 12,500 doubloons in the store, if I'm not mistaken. But for these mission packages, you'd be paying 12,000 doubloons. And then on top of that money, you do have to do some work to attain the Yukikaze for these chips, and it's possible that at the end of purchasing these packages, you might not have completed all of the missions, and you might not have all of the chips, and you might not even be playing the Stellar Clash mode all that much because you don't think it's super fun. So there could be a situation in which you buy all of these packages and you don't complete them before the event is over, and then you don't have enough Stellar Chips to afford the Yukikaze, in which case you just have to use them on any of the other 
prizes inside of the store as sort of a consolation prize. So if you really do want the Yukikaze, then you're going to have to buy at least one of these packages, and you're going to have to do a lot of grinding in Stellar Clash mode. Now, you really want the ship. You're willing to pay 12,000 doubloons. You can buy all three packages. Just make sure that you have the ability to complete the missions inside of those packages if you decide to go that route. Otherwise, you're going to be essentially paying money for nothing. But I figured this information would be useful to some of you. I'm sure there are people out there who really want the Yukikaze. It is an incredibly powerful ship. You might even go so far to say so far as to say it is overpowered, considering it's essentially a tier seven Yudachi that hasn't received any nerfs apart from having the reload booster option removed from the loadout. So, very powerful ship. Certainly going to be something that a lot of Japanese destroyer fans really like, and a lot of people on the receiving ends of those torpedoes really, really hate. Anyway, that is a detailed overview of how to acquire the stellar chips in order to pursue acquiring the Yukikaze, as well as how to play the game mode. As for my thoughts on the game mode, like I said earlier in the video, I played a handful of games in it to get a feel, and I did have fun in some of those games, including this one here from this last clip I'm showing you, where I only have two guns out of, or two turrets out of three on my cruiser. This one was pretty fun, and I actually did end up winning it, but the novelty has, in all honesty, worn off for me, and I'm sure it will for others out there as well. But that's all I've really got to say about it. Hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Let me know what you think in the comments, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.